Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my entire handbag collection except for my Hermes bag collection because I just did one recently so I'm going to link it up here. So this is my entire collection which includes mainly Chanel, LV, Dior, Celine but I'm excluding the Hermes ones because well, a lot of you have already seen it and if you haven't, you can just watch it right here starting from uh, the tiniest uh, one so yes i do consider this a handbag because it was sort of a price of a handbag especially back then when this little nano bag came out in the runway i was so excited i had to have it and it is one of my favorite i actually forgot the collection it is from i think it's 21s this is the version that is with the updated magnetic little Button. This bag is super versatile. Don't let this size fool you. It fits everything except a phone, but it really literally fits everything else. So I can easily fit a full size lipstick in here, plus all my cards, cash, and some more. Especially if you just want to be hands free and literally feel weightless, but you still have at least your ID with you this is also great for going to concerts the lambskin on this one is also super durable and yes by the way guys i am styling every single bag with several outfits so that you can see how each bag can be so versatile all the outfits that are styled with are from petite studio new york as the name suggests petite studio these clothes are made for petite women if you're like me only 5 4 or under then you know that we have a harder time finding the right length for our clothing especially the right length of sleeves the right proportion for the torso or the right length of pants especially and that is what they excel at it's founded by a petite woman making clothes for petite lady you'll see throughout this video that the eight nine outfits that i put together are all very very cohesive this is part of their new spring summer collection this one is definitely one of my favorite the moment I saw it, I knew I had to have it. First of all, how darling is this cotton lace? It's so crisp. Love the crisscross back. It's such a cute little design. Beachy vibes. Definitely tailored to the exact right proportion of a petite woman. The one that I'm wearing right now is just another super darling dress. Just so romantic and so flowy. I love that it has pockets. Oh yeah, a couple of the dresses have pockets by the way. Just check out my footage on the try-on. And this one is also uber long. It has a very romantic bare back. Because it is their Memorial Day sale, which ends on May 31st, everything sidewide is 25% off, which will be applied automatically at checkout. So check out the links down below. Make sure you take advantage of this promotion because it doesn't happen all the time. Okay, up next, I have this a little cutie, like I said, going from smallest to the biggest bag. So I feel like this would be my next smaller bag. Although it is small, it packs a punch just like the previous one. This is the Neo speedy nano this is the version with the detachable strap and also the pre patina vachetta the moment that i saw it i was like oh my gosh i am sold because it is so cute but there is a reason why i don't wear it very often again i do have a love-hate relationship with speedies the opening drives me crazy i think of my entire collection this is one of my least used barring another one but Anyway, I'm just not really into a monogram right now at this moment, but nevertheless, it is so, so, so classic and so iconic. LV is definitely known for their coated canvas, and yeah, it's so, so cute. This surprisingly styled so well with several of the outfits, especially the pieces that I went for are a little bit more earth tone, but also on the cooler side. In any case, I feel like the nano size bags are never going to really disappear. They may not be the most in at the moment because bigger bags are in, but at the same time, nano sizes are just so cute. Every time you wear anything nano size like this, it just looks like a little baby, so yeah 
This is the Nano Speedy. Gorgeous camel color short. There's a pleat right here and it comes with this complimentary belt. But as you can see in my styling, I also style it with my Kelly belt, one of my newest Kelly belt that I bought recently. I love the watercolor kind of design up here. And I also love this at the bottom. So, so romantic, kind of that beachy, flowy. It's so comfortable. This material is like literally my favorite material, cotton. And it's just so pretty. Look at the watercolor, the pastel colors on it. One of my favorite darlings, this is the mini size Lady Dior and she is so gorgeous. I'm so glad that I decided to buy it when I bought it because wow, the price increase is insane. I am very glad that I also went with this specific combination. This is the gray pearlescent color, which I don't even know if they make it anymore. And if they do, maybe it's slightly different. I do think that the color does vary from season to season, especially this kind of gray is very, very signature at Dior. This is one of my least worn as well, but not because I don't love it. It's just too dressy. To me, this is definitely a special occasion bag. I do take this out to weddings or to special events. As long as you love the Lady Dior, I think you do need one in your collection. I already knew by looking at the design on the model that I would love this kind of dress because why? It's your perfect black little dress. Ruching over the stomach area, so it's super forgiving and a beautiful slit down the right side. Neckline that gives you the illusion of a cowl neck and the backing has this elastic ruching right here. So again, if you have a fuller tummy, you're all set. This is such a gorgeous little lace number. It's lace throughout. It's really, really pretty. And it has these puff sleeves elasticated kind of drape it over in the summer as a little jacket as well look how pretty this is if you follow my channel then you probably know that i am a chanel girl through and through yes i'm into hermes right now as well but chanel is still for me my first true love their aesthetic, their signature, everything about the Chanel house, they're ready to wear. It just makes my heart sing. So that's why the majority of my bags are still from Chanel. I do have a few other ones sprinkled in there, but the majority is still Chanel. For me, the square mini is still the perfect proportion in my opinion. I do have rectangle minis, but the square mini for me just has a special place in my heart. I had a Chanel jumbo, I think, before this one, which was pre-loved. But of course, I don't have that anymore. So I really feel like this is in my collection right now. It is literally my first Chanel bag that um, still remains in my collection. And it's not going anywhere because why? This is the iconic caviar mini square flap. And you can't get this anymore because you can't get caviar anymore. This is also from one of my favorite collections, 17C collection. Very romantic, summery kind of tank top in this knitted material. Again, this kind of knit is more airy. It's more like a viscose and a scallop edge on the bottom. Just beautiful. Look at the print, black and white, just my favorite. And I didn't even see that detail online, but it has this sort of like, um ruching at the stomach area so in contrast to my chanel square this is one of my newer chanel bag and this is the extra mini coco handle she is so darling the shape is so lovely and it is the extra mini size which i wasn't a fan at first but for some reason the more i saw it the more i fell in love with it and i literally had to have it which is why i went ahead and bought this especially because at the time when i saw this color i was really really drawn to it it's kind of like an avocado green this is a super super cute top it comes in two different colors as you see both of them are nice earth tones i was so surprised that this little green top looks so amazing on me and especially these pants oh my gosh these pants are so gorgeous first of all Elastics are always a good idea. Love this gorgeous long pleat at the front. The bottom has this kind of 
design also same with the waist i do have a love-hate relationship with the coco handle just like the speedy i just don't love reaching in and out of a tight opening like this even though i think this bag is so darling every time i hold it every time i go and style it it goes with my outfit for some reason i think because the exterior of the bag really is so darling i love the longer strap you can cross body the color is not the issue the color is actually very very neutral for a pop of color and yet it's kind of muted too which is so interesting but yeah this is from the runway fall season of 2022, so 22K collection. So one of the only times that they did this kind of avocado green, which is so pretty. Um, such a great summer neutral. But yeah, it is one of my least worn, unfortunately. But the caviar on this, the construction on this one is so perfect. Let's move on to another type of mini flap, and this is the rectangular mini flap. As you can see, this is a bright raspberry red color and it is so gorgeous. I believe this is the 17B collection. I think it was also the very last collection that they still made caviar and the one after this, they discontinued caviar in the mini size flap, which even till this day, it hasn't come back, which is why these are some of my most prized possessions. The strap is also a little longer, which is also not my preference. But other than that, it is one of my favorite bags because it's in one of my favorite colors. Gorgeous red color. It's kind of like that raspberry, very, very saturated red. If you're into red, especially if you're into red, then red can be a neutral for you. Even though this is my only red bag in my collection, but I think this is the perfect one to be in red because the perfect size, the perfect hardware, the perfect kind of material, and yeah, it goes with so many looks, literally. For some reason, I completely forgot to talk about the Top Handle Chanel Mini Rectangular Flap. This one is from the 21S collection. It is the only collection that came in caviar. It is one of the most coveted handbags out there. I got mine pre-loved from a fellow YouTuber. This bag is so special because of the top handle. I know it's just the top handle, but it makes all the difference. It is such a great evening bag. Take it from day to night. The chain is also a little daintier than the rectangle mini. I really hope that one day Chanel will make these kinds of caviar top handle minis again because it is literally the best one. Okay, so this is gonna be my last caviar. Yeah, last caviar flap bag. And this is a V iconic classic flap, small and this gorgeous light gray color. This is, oh my gosh. I still can't believe I was able to get this at the time. Um, it was definitely really, really hard to get one. They were about to increase their prices so high and I took the plunge and I'm so glad I did at the time because this is literally the perfect shade of gray, not too dark, but not so light that you're so scared of wearing it. Of course, I would love all kinds of white bags in my collection, but they are not the most practical. So I think this shade is a good compromise. It's not just a great compromise. It's actually a really, really gorgeous shade. It goes so well with any sort of white, black, all kinds of different outfit. It's actually so much more versatile than you think. Again, this is my only true classic flap handbag in my collection and they do fit more than a mini size they actually do by a little bit and i also like the different kind of strap situation here i like that you can dress it down or dress it up like this um yeah the shape of it also is just a little bit more classy iconic and yeah this color if I could only have one classic flap, is literally my unicorn. I am so rusty with my collections now, but I believe this was 21A. We're finally moving on to slightly more roomy bags that still have a small form factor. And this is one of my newest bag in my collection, the Chanel 22 mini size. 
right now I have the chains configured like this so that it's kind of like a short shoulder wear very classy elegant and I have raved about the 22 bag so much it's a very simple design but I'm actually looking forward to getting more colors in this bag because it's one of the easiest bags that I've had in a long time it's one of those that I don't need to baby and it fits a lot and it still has a small form factor which I really love I love a small or mini size form factor and it actually sells very easily like you see in all the outfits and on top of that they are making some changes to this bag which I wish they had already before but they're gonna make this chain inside detachable from next collection on and apparently there could be a magnet too so a game changer in my opinion which would definitely motivate me to get a different color um, but yeah I love this bag can't say enough good things about it this is the LV twice Louis Vuitton twice but they did change the name of this bag a few times I think it used to be called the twin set it's a little bougie to have an LV bag as an Aaron's bag but this is what it is for me it's so convenient it has so many different compartments it's super secure it actually fits so much it's one of those that has a very slim form factor i definitely can still dress this up if i wanted to but it just has become one of my most practical thin close to the body kind of bag that just does everything literally it even has a secret compartment for that but obviously it is a discontinued style so you would only be able to find it in pre-love back to another chanel bag i told you that most of my bag collection is chanel and this is the very original chanel 19 bag why because i did buy it in 2019 when it came out i still love this bag so much it's still one of my favorites why because i don't know whatever i said before basically the whole thing about how practical it is and fits everything and it's just so smush it's just so easy it still is all true obviously i don't wear it every day anymore because i do rotate everything i try anyway every time i take it out and i start using it it just reminds me of how you know it's robust but it has that plushness to it so it has this soft side and this robust edgy side to it that i absolutely love and as you'll see in this outfit which this is why i love this bag so much it looks so grungy but you can put together an outfit that is kind of just on not quite dressy but it's kind of just cool easy going and it just it just works and that's what this bag is it just works this is the Celine trapeze in the small size I am really really sad that Celine bags are not more coveted maybe they are coveted but they are just not they don't retain any sort of value which is very sad because if you ask me this bag has all what it takes it has the material it has the cool design really gorgeous inside and out fully leather lined this is one of those bags back then i remember when i bought it in the celine store i was thinking oh my gosh this is one of my most expensive bags at the time but yeah it's bittersweet for sure but it is still a very very cool bag if you ask me of course one of my favorite kind of my current ride or die the one that i just throw on my shoulder whenever i need a bigger bag this is the chanel 22 in the small size it's just one of those things it's simple straightforward just one big hole but i love this bag because i can just throw everything in it don't even organize it i love the cool factor and also again just like the chanel 19 but different timeline it styles really well with a very nicely put together outfit it's not dressy or anything and it just really amps up the whole look and that's what this bag is about i think the chain really is kind of like the statement detail and i just love it the one and only never full mm size monogram and vachetta can still be very effortless 
if you style it right, like if you have just like a crisp outfit or maybe the same shade of earthy tones and just simple clean lines, it can look so sophisticated, which is why I say, yes, you can have all these gorgeous bags in the world, but it doesn't mean that it's going to look good on you if you don't take proper care of them and also if you don't style it properly. At the end of the day, we should be the ones wearing the bag, not the other way around. Yes, the more options, the better, but also not so much that you forget what you have, which is why I like to keep a tight collection. Already as it is, I feel like I'm at the cap of where my collection should be because you guys all know that I'm comfortable with the 20 bag mark, but you know, Sometimes they do leave my collection because of one reason or another. And like I said, if you remember the bag that I used to have in my collection, but you don't see it in my video, then yes, it has left or they have left my collection. There was a few that did. I still sometimes post it on my Instagram, but not very often because it's a lot of work. And usually if I get a fair or good consignment quote, I will just send it to consignment so it's out of my hands and they can just deal with it. Or someone reached out to me and just wanted to buy it off of me privately. I sometimes do that as well. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite piece in this try-on haul and also your favorite bag in my collection. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!